We choose to ask you for ID, you are required to give it to us. Am I required to just have ID on me at all times? Absolutely, that's the reason why you have to have it. Do you think that's American? I'm required to have ID on me? All right, sending you with Xander from uh, XanderBlessman.com. Am I still saying that right? Correct, yes. And uh, welcome to the Win Win channel. I uh, just wanted to give you a chance to rant to the public about whatever's on your mind lately. And you said you did have something. Yes, yes. Um, I, I just wanted to talk about the TJ uh, or the Thomas Jefferson Memorial dance parties that have been going on. I, I'm, I'm seeing a change happening not only in America but all across the world. But it's it's really starting to, to blossom now. It's like it's like watching a flower. A couple years ago, it was nothing but uh, a few leaves that were growing close to the dirt and spreading out. And then you saw the stem, and now you're beginning to see the bud. And hopefully, we're going to see this bloom into something beautiful and gorgeous. And and I, I love the fact that here we're getting people going out to Thomas Jefferson Memorial and defying the man. And it's a wonderful way to defy the man. It's a a wonderful way to do things in a, uh, a peaceful manner and show them no we're not going to just listen to you anymore we're not going to just obey you anymore you can't just tell us what to do you can't tell us to sit down and shut up and it's time that we stand up and say no we're going to dance they're, they're supposed to have another uh, uh, dance party at the Thomas Jefferson Memorial on July 4th. So we're here at the Jefferson Memorial and apparently we're not allowed in if we have cameras but no ID. Yeah. Your bags are checked and you're wanded and my hand was swabbed and all that stuff. Hi. Turn the camera off, please. Uh, why? Can I ask you why? Turn the camera off. It's not an area to be videotaped. You're at our access point. No, no, no. I'm asking you a completely different question. I'm asking you, am I required to just have ID on me at all times? Absolutely. That's the reason why you have to have ID. Do you think that's American? I'm required to have ID on me? Let me just explain something to you. Let me just explain something to you. I'm not, okay. I'm not, I'm not here to go back and forth. You're okay. Not what I'm asking you to turn the camera off. Uh, am I required to turn the camera off? Turn the camera off. And I hope even more people show up, and I hope even more people deny them when when they try to close it down. This one's come to visit. Dun dun dun. Bow, bow, bow. Look at that. To celebrate our freedom, he brought out a bunch of cords to wrap people up, a gun to shoot people down, all in celebration of independence. Because what they did on uh, this last memorial is they, they closed it down, but there was about a half a dozen, my understanding is there was about a half a dozen individuals that decided not to leave. Decided not to leave, and I'm sorry, we had to move inside because it was raining so hard. Yeah. And then, continue your thoughts, Andrew. And they decided not to leave, and they danced for 45 more minutes. Uh, and nobody tried to make them leave, they just watched them. That was in defiance of the state, and that is something that the news, the, the regular news, did not report on. So these brave people are defying the state, they're defying their enforcers, and they're saying, you know what? If we want to dance, we're going to dance. One thing that I like about your thinking, Xander, is that you, I think you have the same sense of history and the entire world that, that so many people are missing. And that, um, you know, the fact that, um, I don't know, most people just don't seem to connect what's going on in, 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 in the Arab Peninsula or in, in, in Arabia with what's going on in the United States. But there's there's a, there's a Jasmine revolution here too. Right. And um, I don't know, I think it's a purple revolution myself. You know, the, the red and the blue kind of coming together there to create purple. But um, yeah, I was thinking about that. But yeah, this is, this is not just a phenomenon. The freedom movement's not just a phenomenon that's happening in the United States. Uh, by my experience, I see when I put my stuff out on the internet, I get people from all over the world who are, who are viewing my blogs, who are emailing me, writing me, talking about this stuff. So everybody, uh, uh, even out in, in Libya, uh, they're, they're wanting freedom. They're wanting to 
They're wanting the state to leave them alone. People are tired of being bombed. They're tired of being shot. They're tired of being pushed down on the ground and, and held down and had a boot placed at the back of their head because they're dancing or whatever. And so as far as I'm concerned, the uh, Arabs, the, uh, the, the Libyans, they're saying no to empire. They're saying, no, we're not going to be part of a worldwide empire. We have our own way of doing things, and we want to be left alone. Let us do things our way. And we shouldn't be going in there and trying to enforce our will upon them. All right, Xander, thanks so much for your time. Thank you, Dave.